Have you ever wondered why information security and compliance are crucial in today's digital age? Imagine a world where your personal details, financial information, or confidential business data are as unprotected as a house with an open door. It's a scary thought, isn't it? This is where information security and compliance come into play. They're like the locks on the doors and windows of that house, safeguarding valuable and sensitive data from those with malicious intent. In the digital realm, information security ensures that your data remains confidential, maintains its integrity, and is available when you need it. On the other hand, compliance refers to adhering to a set of rules or standards, often established by regulatory bodies or industry guidelines to ensure that this security is up to par. But why are these so important? Well, imagine if a bank failed to protect its customer data. Not only would the bank face hefty financial penalties, but it would also suffer severe reputational damage. Trust, once lost, is challenging to regain, and in the world of business, it's everything. Non-compliance doesn't just affect businesses, it can also impact individuals, leading to identity theft, financial loss, and a significant invasion of privacy. And let's not forget non-compliance can result in severe, legal repercussions. Information security and compliance aren't just about avoiding penalties or preserving reputation, they are about fostering trust, ensuring customer satisfaction, and ultimately, driving business success. They are the pillars that support the digital world, maintaining the balance between innovation and risk. In an era where data breaches are increasingly common, the importance of robust information security measures and strict adherence to compliance standards cannot be overstated. They are not just checkboxes to be ticked off, but are fundamental aspects of any successful and responsible digital enterprise. As we delve deeper into this topic, we'll explore two key frameworks that guide IT professionals in maintaining security and compliance, the NISCF and NIAF CF. First, let's unravel the Qatar National Information Security Compliance Framework, or NISCF. In a nutshell, the NISCF is a comprehensive set of guidelines designed to safeguard information assets. It's a robust shield against cyber threats, and it's a critical tool for any IT professional in Qatar. So, what's in the NISCF you ask? Well, the framework is composed of several key components. First, there are the principles, the fundamental rules of the game. These principles lay down the law, setting the standards for information security. Then we have the policies and procedures, the step-by-step -step guides to achieving those standards. Think of them as your recipe for a secure IT environment. Next up are the controls. These are the mechanisms that enforce the policies and procedures. They're like the referees in our game, making sure everyone plays by the rules. And finally, there's the continuous monitoring and improvement process. This is where we make sure our game plan is working and tweak it as necessary. Now let's delve into how IT professionals can implement these processes. Imagine you're an IT manager at a company. You'd start by understanding the NISCF principles and aligning them with your organization's objectives. Next, you'd establish policies and procedures based on these principles. Then, you'd implement controls to enforce these policies and procedures. And lastly, you'd set up a system for continuous monitoring and improvement. Let's say, for instance, one of the NISCF principles is to limit access to sensitive information. Your policy might be to grant access only on a need-to-know basis. Your control could be a password-protected system. And your continuous improvement process? Regular audits to ensure the policy is being followed. In essence, the NISCF is like a well-oiled machine. Each component plays a crucial role in maintaining the overall security of an organization's information. It's a team effort, and everyone has a part to play. Understanding and implementing the NISCF not only ensures compliance, but also fortifies your organization's information security. Now, you may ask, how does one achieve NISCF certification and accreditation? Well, the journey is a step-by-step -step process that begins with understanding the NISCF standards and guidelines. This comprehension phase is crucial as it sets the tone for what is to come. Next, an organization needs to assess its current information security practices. This self-assessment helps identify gaps that need to be addressed to meet NISCF standards. Then comes the implementation phase, where the organization applies the NISCF standards to its operations, filling in the gaps identified during the self-assessment. Once the standards are implemented, an independent audit is conducted to verify that the organization meets the NISCF requirements. This audit is a critical part of the process as it ensures the integrity and effectiveness of the implemented security measures. 
Upon successful completion of the audit, the organization is awarded the NISCF certification and accreditation. Earning NISCF certification and accreditation validates your organization's commitment to information security and compliance. Scene script. Next, we turn our attention to another critical framework, the National Information Assurance Framework, or NIAF. Now, what exactly is the NIAF? Imagine it as a robust set of guidelines, standards, policies, and laws that have been meticulously crafted to ensure that information systems are secure, reliable, and resilient. It provides a structured approach to managing information risk, offering an assurance that systems are protected against potential threats and vulnerabilities. Let's break it down a little further. At the heart of the NIF are its guidelines. These are akin to a roadmap, directing IT professionals on how to navigate the complex landscape of information assurance. They offer advice on aspects such as risk management, system development, and incident response. Next, we have the standards. These are the benchmarks, the measurable aspects that can be quantified and assessed. Standards within the NIF might cover areas like encryption strength, password complexity, or system uptime. Then come the policies. These are the rules of the game, the do's and don'ts that IT professionals must adhere to when managing information systems. Policies could range from acceptable use of systems to data handling procedures to security incident reporting. Lastly, we have the laws. These are the binding legal requirements that must be complied with to avoid penalties. In the context of the NIAF, these laws could pertain to data privacy, cybersecurity, or intellectual property rights. Now how does all this translate into real-world IT settings? Let's take an example. Imagine you're developing a new software application. The NIAF guidelines would provide direction on secure coding practices. The standards would set the benchmarks for code quality and security, the policies would dictate how code reviews and testing should be conducted, and the laws would ensure that the software does not infringe on any intellectual property rights or violate any data privacy regulations. By adhering to the NIF, IT professionals can ensure the integrity, confidentiality, and availability of information systems. This framework helps to create a secure and trustworthy information environment that is crucial in today's digital age. So, why should IT professionals and organizations comply with these frameworks? You may wonder. It's easy to perceive compliance as a tedious chore, a mere set of boxes to tick off. But it's essential to understand that this perception couldn't be further from the truth. Compliance, particularly with robust frameworks like NISCF and NIAF, is fundamentally about securing your organization's information assets. It's about safeguarding your reputation, your customers' trust, and your business continuity. In the increasingly connected world we live in, data breaches and cyber attacks are not a question of if, but when. And when that time comes, compliance with these frameworks equips you with the necessary tools to respond effectively. But the benefits of compliance go beyond just improved security. It also enhances your organization's reputation. Customers, partners, and stakeholders value organizations that take their data protection obligations seriously. When you comply with recognized standards, you send a clear message that you are committed to maintaining the highest level of data integrity and confidentiality. This can open doors to new business opportunities as many enterprises and government bodies now require compliance as a prerequisite for doing business. Moreover, compliance can also drive business growth. It helps you identify and fix vulnerabilities before they become problems, thus saving you from potential financial losses and reputational damage. It also enables you to streamline your processes, making your operations more efficient and effective. Now let's address the elephant in the room the misconception that compliance is a burden. Yes, achieving compliance may require time, effort, and resources. But consider this. The cost of non-compliance, in terms of fines, lost business, and damage to your reputation, can be significantly higher. In essence, compliance isn't just about ticking boxes, it's a strategic move that benefits your organization in the long run. So embrace it not as a burden but as an opportunity to fortify your defenses, enhance your reputation, and fuel your business growth. As we wrap up, let's summarize what we've learned today. We've delved into the significance of information security and compliance, understanding that they're not merely optional, but vital in our data-driven world. We've explored the Qatar National Information Security Compliance Framework, or NISCF, and its intricate processes for certification and accreditation, helping us see how it serves as a protective shield for our data. 
We've also journeyed through the National Information Assurance Framework or NEAF, grasping its guidelines, standards, policies and laws. Through real-world examples we've seen how these frameworks function in action, providing a solid foundation for information security. We've discussed the perception of compliance, debunking misconceptions and highlighting the numerous benefits it brings. Compliance isn't a burdensome chore but a proactive step towards safeguarding valuable data and maintaining trust in our digital society. Remember, in a world where data is king, protecting it through security and compliance isn't just an option, it's a necessity.